My mother told me not to play with my food, but I do. The rainbow diet is the best diet. Eat local, eat organic, eat fresh. Eat the rainbow every day. Hi, my name is Alexandra Winters and I'm a health and wellness coach. I'm also the author of the cookbook Raw Food Art and Live Love Light and Fruits from Olenka's Kitchen and Friends. I have been working for over 15 years with thousands of people around the world on transitioning their relationship with food. The process begins when we choose to create a loving relationship with our body and align our mind to make healthier choices. I love sharing my passion for healthy cooking and wellness with others. I educate my clients about the benefits of raw vegan diet, gluten-free cooking, nutrition, chemical-free cleaning products, and natural beauty and skincare. I also teach about the benefits of essential oils, mindful living, and the impact we have on our environment. Your body is such an amazing phenomenon. It will tell you which foods to choose and which to avoid. Simply include more organic, colorful fruits and veggies into your diet. Everyone deserves to have energetic, thriving and beautiful body. I believe that the most important thing with coaching my clients is to teach them about self-love and self-acceptance. I don't teach only about diets, I teach a complete healthy lifestyle. If you are looking to lose weight, manage your stress, reduce your unhealthy food addictions, or you want to learn how to cook, I'm your girl. If you are interested in learning about the benefits of a plant-based diet, organic produce, and want to cook healthier for yourself and your family, or are simply looking to find vitality in your life, I'm here for you. I inspire others to be connected with nature, eat in season, and intuitive cooking. I love people, I love nature, I love teaching, and I love yummy food. I promote the rainbow diet, full of healthy grains, fruits, vegetables, beans, peas, nuts, and seeds. Eat the rainbow every day. Beautiful you. When was the last time you've talked with someone about your health and received the personal attention you deserve? While you probably heard about the popular trends of detoxing, different cleanses, weight loss programs, you may still be confused about nutrition and which diet is good for you. Finding optimal health is a process and this is why I provide group and private coaching via Skype or telephone. I also teach in person and online cooking classes. I'm here for you to help you with your transformation. If what I'm teaching resonates with you, it will be my pleasure to work with you. What are you waiting for? Contact me today! Live Love Light and Fruits from Olenka's Kitchen. Bye! Hi, my name is Joe Pena. I'm Olenka's producer for this show. Welcome to Olenka's Kitchen, Eat the Rainbow. I'd like to introduce you to Alexandra Winters. Hello, guys. So my name is Alexandra Winters, Olenko in Polish. I'm originally from Poland. And yeah, welcome. So this is my first webinar, and I'm going to be talking to you about eating the rainbow. For those who don't know me, I'm a health and wellness coach. I'm also an art educator. I'm an artist myself, intuitive chef, and an author of two cookbooks, Live Love Light and Fruits from Olenka's Kitchen and Friends, and Raw Food Art. So this is a Raw Food Art cookbook, which came out last year, and Live Love Light and Fruits is coming very soon in a few weeks, and it's going to be answering a lot of questions that people have been asking me uh, all my cl clients and and co-workers and friends for years about you know plant-based diet and eating the rainbow this cookbook raw food art is was all inspired by uh nature it's all it has it's all i don't know if you can see it guys it's all about based on four seasons and it's all about raw food diet so i wrote first the cookbook about benefits of raw food diet 
So for those who are not familiar, get the book. It's available on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles. I, it also comes in in the ebook version. And actually, for those who are going to be sharing this, I'm going to post this on YouTube and on my website. For those who are going to be sharing it, you'll be able uh, to be in the win, and you can get a free copy of the book. So please share this information because we're going to be talking about some great stuff. So my second cookbook, I don't have the book to show you, just as my table of content at the beginning of the book, but it answers a lot of questions about uh, eating the rainbow and raw vegan diet, plant-based diet. So I'm gonna be talking to you a little bit about the book and how the idea came for this book. This book is inspired by uh, my travels around the world and is also inspired by international cooking. So this book has over 150 recipes and the recipes are very, very multicultural. There are my recipes. I think I have 100 recipes and there are 50 recipes from my friends, Olenko's Kitchen Friends. So the title of the book is Live Love Light and Fruits from Olenko's Kitchen and Friends, Rainbow Diet Around the World. So that's like the long title. We have uh, recipes from Peru, from Norway, from um, Israel, from Russia, from Poland, from many, many different countries, Morocco. So it's going to be really, really fun. So for those who... Uh, who contributed the recipes to the book. I'm very, very grateful. And I'm going to be interviewing you in the webinars, in my live streams. And some of you will be, who live locally, will be cooking with me in my kitchen. So this is my kitchen. So we're going to be doing some cooking. So that's about the introduction for now. So I have a question about okay, eating. Okay, go ahead. So what a, I'd like to address it from a standpoint of uh, a challenge in terms of eating. Um, eating foods that are beneficial. I'm finding that Oftentimes when I am somewhere where food isn't readily accessible and because, it isn't, and because I haven't thought ahead, I end up reaching for something that isn't necessarily beneficial to me. Do you have any recommendations along those? Yes, things? I have a lot of recommendations in my both of my books. But uh, yes, I've heard this from clients all the time. I live in New York. I mean, I live 30 minutes from New York City. So I'm so lucky that we have abundance of fruits and vegetables. And this, this area is so multicultural. We have uh, many different stores, ethnic stores, different cultures. So you can get any kind of food, no, you know, uh, Korean, Japanese, Russian, Polish, I mean, anything that you want in between vegan, raw, paleo, and all you know, anything. But I know that uh, people live in many different, even states in the United States that healthy food is not accessible. I, I have um, this group I've been running for two years now, 21 Days Transformation to Plant-Based Diet. And actually, this group inspired me, questions from this group to write this book, Live Love Light and Foods from Malenka's Kitchen and Friends. And I hear all the time, you know, I live in, you know, Georgia or many different states when the, when the food is not accessible. So what can you do? First of all, you as a consumer, uh, write to, you know, local governments, write to um, go even to the store that you do have and ask you know can you get me some real fruits and vegetables that's number one because you know we the one who paying the money so whatever you're spending your dollars that's you know that's what the company putting you know that's what they you know they selling it what you can do you can grow your own fruits and vegetables even if you don't have a garden you can start maybe community garden or you can even grow in pots and maybe on your patio on the you know in the um outside in the summertime if you can grow your own food you can sprout foods which i'm gonna do one webinar just for sprouting how easy is sprouting and then you're eating raw nutritious delicious foods you know sprouted foods are amazing like you can sprout seeds and nuts and beans and it's amazing but yes uh if you you know if we not surround yourself with healthy food we're gonna be especially when we're hungry when we're tired when you know when we're in a rush we're just gonna grab something that is convenient and when we go to the supermarkets many times or any stores, bars, like, you know, candy bars or soda, all this different junk food, it's very accessible. And they even, when they're designing the stores, they're designing on the level for children so they can even grab it. So everything in the store, you know, the company's trying to make the money. So we as consumers, we really have to educate ourselves and, um, you know, think outside of the box. And I'm all about solutions and problem solvings. I'm an artist, so I always try to think outside of the box. I'm a teacher working with children and adults for many years as an art teacher, which art is super fun and super creative. You know, we always have to never put yourself in the victim mentality. Like, you know, I can't. I don't know that this answer your question. I'm going to be going in details about, you know, uh, 
with answering, but did this answer the question? There is one thing that did come up, though, as you were talking. Do you mind if I ask now sure. or something else? So we're heading into a winter season here. And so planting things, uh, getting things out, outdoors, especially I live in Chicago. I live in New York, yeah, in winter, <laughs> yeah. First of all, in the supermarkets or any other stores, there, you know, you can always get, uh, of course, fresh produce, which many times in the winter time is not as fresh because, you know, if they picked like stuff in uh, Argentina or I don't know, uh, Mexico or something, and they ship these things many times, it loses nutritional value. So number one, this is what I wrote about my uh, raw food or cookbook, um, you know, eating local, eating organic as much in season, but which is possible. But of course, what you can do, you can buy dry fruits and uh, like dry beans and soak them. Frozen stuff like frozen vegetables and frozen uh, fruits are very good because many times they pick it like in the season when they the ripest. Like for example, I love Trader Joe's. I don't know if you had that that store in Chicago uh, because they have, for example, wild uh, blueberries, not just regular blueberries, but wild blueberries, which are super, super, extremely uh, healthy. And they like number one antioxidants wild because they're wild. So they have more uh, nutrients than regular blueberries, you know, who are just uh, growing like in the farm because they, you know, they have to survive harsh environment like you know sometimes it's dry sometimes it's windy sometimes it's cold in the winter and they're super tiny if no if somebody i have some in the freezer but i'm, I'm connected to all these devices here so i can move they super super tiny and they very very like almost blackish purplish and will stain your teeth and because they have a lot of pigments and that's what's amazing when you're eating the rainbow, you're eating the spectrum of different colors, you know. So, so yeah, get some something, you know, some things that they are frozen, you know, and because they were picked in the seasons. What else you can do? You can have, I don't know if you can see it behind me, this is a dehydrator. So anything cooked bef uh, below 118 degrees, is, it's considered raw. And when we cook something like microwave is behind me, I don't use it. And it's actually disconnected completely. The more we cooking something hidden and when you microwaving definitely new, loses nutritional value. So the hydrator allows you to make foods like crackers, cookies. You can even make pizza, lasagna, which I have all these recipes in, in, in uh, raw food or cookbook. And you have all these delicious food, which is called gourmet raw food, but in the, with enzymes because it cooks very slow. Sometimes it may take eight hours 12 hours, 24 hours, depends what you want to do. This is a pretty expensive one, but they are smaller one. You just go on the internet and Google about dehydrated and then you can make delicious food all year round. What else? Um, what else, you know, to, to, uh, oh, I know I get uh, deliveries every, every, season actually from local farms it's called mike's organics deliveries and you can do this i'm sure in different places or if you don't have like a local deliveries farm who deliver the food you can sign up for co-ops because sometimes you just work like five hours a month and then you get pretty good price many times organic local sustainable food that uh it's source you know, locally and, and it has good nutritional value. So that's what you can do. And again, if you can get the food, just, you know, talk to the supermarkets, right, you know, to the local, you know, government and, and, you know, and ask for, you know, more possibilities. And if you do have a garden, you can actually, they have this gardens now, like, um, you know, all year round. So, you know, there, there are always options. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, I think the big takeaway for me is, is was your closing comment is there are always options mm -hmm. and that's not typically how I approach things. If it's not readily available, um, I don't think in terms of options, I think of what's right there. So uh, I think perhaps maybe a mindset shift mm -hmm. to go along with that uh, as one from, from one of convenience to one of preferential foods. Yeah. Exactly. And mindsets, I mean, you, you just had a webinar with amazing Marina Jacobi. She talks all about mindsets and multiple uh, uh, um, realities. And we always have, you know, every second or nano seconds, we, you know, we, we're creating our, 
our destiny, our future. And the same with, with anything. People think like, oh, you know, th this is like the food. I'm just stuck. No, you're not. We eat every, you know, we all have 24 hours a day and we all, you know, the choices that we're making, we eat probably three times a day. I mean, some people maybe, you know, eat at smaller meals and it really food is medicine. Food is everything that you put in your body. You're going to pay, you know, the, you're going to pay it now, or you're going to pay, uh, pay it later because if you have food allergies or some kind of health issues or maybe in a few years but you know it's there are always consequences so make sure that you know you do eat good food i always uh i always get surprised when people say i don't have time to cook i'm very busy and they eat junk food and then they have maybe amazing car like very expensive car and they always put in good gas into a car but then they're eating junk food they're going to mcdonald's or something and they're saying i don't have time and it's like it's your life. It really, it's your, it's your health. It's your life. It's your kid's life. So it's like, it, it, you, it depends on it. When you don't have your health, health is your greatest wealth. Then you go, you won't be able to work. You, you're going to get sick. You, uh, there are all, you know, so I think it's like people really should understand this, that this is so important, you know, to eat healthy food and drinking a lot of water. Many times that's what happened when people crave for food, they actually are dehydrated. Very good. They actually are dehydrated. And another reason when people crave, you know, uh, junk food or all these snacky food, salty, which I address all of this in my second cookbook, Live Love Light and, Fru uh, Live Love Light and Fruits from Olenko's Kitchen and Friends. When we are bored, when we are unhappy, when we just, you know, many times people work in the front of the computer, maybe all day in the offices and they just, the light is like artificial light and they just, they just need like a stimulation. And what's better than drinking 10th cup of coffee or eating donuts or chips or what, whatever, Chinese food, all these things, because food is addictive. So, and I address again, addictions and self-sabotage in my book. I mean, there are so many, the second book, Level of Light and Foods from Olinka's Kitchen, it's really it's questions. It's like Q&A with me, you know, where do I get my proteins if I, you know, don't eat meat? Why, you know, eating this uh, substitutes for, you know, uh, for dairy, uh, gluten-free cooking, baking, all these questions that people have been asking me, and I really address that. So uh, maybe we can show them a picture, actually, of of my two books because i think this is the first time you actually guys if you're watching this or you're going to be watching later here you go this is the cover of my second cookbook live love light and fruits because nobody saw it so there you go uh, i'm so excited it took me like two years to write no. first book it took me two years to write the second book it's a lot of right it's a lot of work writing books and creating taking pictures uh, so this is the picture from my first book so eat the rainbow raw food art the whole spectrum of colors you see the palette you because i'm an artist so you know get inspired i get inspired by nature i want you to get inspired by nature and go to the supermarket if you are in the restaurants if you are on the cruise if you are whatever always try to have a plate of colors on your plate like a palette of colors on your plate the more colors you eat the the better you're going to feel so you know purples, reds, orange, yellow, uh, white, all this different, you know, spectrum of colors. So, so eat, eat this. And many, you know, are, are local, like, you know, I, I live in New York, we have four seasons. So now we are in the autumn season. So we have behind me, I don't know if you can see it, persimmons, uh, pumpkins. These are actually not edible. These are for decoration, but pumpkins, squashes, um, uh, all these different butternut squash. Uh, you can bake them, sweet potatoes, onions, apples, pears grapes everything you know seasonal you know eat it as cabbage all these things you know corn eat the you know abundance for example when i used to live in poland my grandparents had a farm my family still this day they have a garden and what would what they would do the way pickle stuff like in the summertime like you ask me how you know uh, you can freeze something but they also will pickle it of course they, they dry it to like in the old-fashioned like in the salt or something or in the sun when you buy like sun-dried tomatoes or sun-dried olives uh you know you can dry and you know preserve the, the the freshness of the fruits and vegetables so there's you know many different 
uh, many different um, ways that you can have nutritious food. And what's great about a fermented food, like pickles, pickle cabbage, or, and I'm not talking about the one with vinegar, I'm talking about like the old fashioned one because it has natural probiotic. But again, I'm gonna do one webinar about pickling. Like if you ever try Korean food, kimchi, they, this is like their way how they pickle, ferment the food, and it has, you know, natural bacteria. So there are so many different ways. That's why I love traveling and I love um, visiting different stores and having multi-international friends because they can teach me about different, you know, recipes, how they, or how they do things in their country and putting different spices. Spices are also very, very important. I have the whole chapter about spices, how to mix spices, how to make your own spices, spices and herbs, because you can really, you know, completely elevate something boring dish into something spectacular just using fruits and vegetables for those who are watching this first time so live love light and fruits my beautiful friend daria helped me created uh the the cover and both of the covers actually these are fr fruits and veggies that i set it up on my deck and i these are my my hands in the first book this is a bunch of fruits and vegetables i'm all about abundance of eating fruits and vegetables so uh yes if you come to my living room, you're going to see, I really like you have one bowl or I think there's two. I have like probably now like 15 different bowls with fruits and vegetables. And I like to keep them separately in different bowls because sometimes some, some fruits and here is one I want to show you with nuts. So this is my, uh, actually I have a squirrel who comes and she likes to eat the nuts. But um, so I have different baskets of different bowls with different fruits because some of them, they don't like to get along with each other. Like onions with garlic, maybe you can put it all. Grapefruits and oranges and lemons, you can put in one. But if you, for example, put like um, apples and bananas together, the bananas will get very ripe very fast. If you want this to happen, put them together. But if you don't, then keep them separately. And if you go in my fridge, it's full of greens because, you know, greens needs to be kept in a cool temperature so you know have your refrigerator full with fruits and vegetables have your freezer you know full with um frozen frozen fruits and vegetables so you can always make a healthy smoothie you can always make uh, you know something quick and also which i talk about this in little vitamin fruits cookbook it's uh, uh, when you make something, make it in batches and freeze or sometimes do it maybe cook out like with your friends or family and you can make a lot, maybe like a lot of uh, lentil meatballs and you can freeze it and have it for later. So when you come home from work and you're tired and you, you, know, you don't feel like cooking and instead of ordering that Chinese food, which is okay to have it from time to time, but you don't want to be eating, you know, takeout of Chinese food every day, which is delicious. But again, you know, it's a lot of GMO, it's a lot of, you know oils and stuff like this so you know you can take something out of the freezer also uh, freezing desserts like in my uh, live love light and fruits cookbook we have a lot of desserts like truffles and raw chocolates and crepes they freeze very very you know really well you can also freeze muffins and if i make like uh, bread or something you can freeze it too a lot of you know things freeze and then you can just take them out and you have you know or even bring it to work and by the time you lunch time you can have you know yummy delicious piece of bread that you baked and uh, you can have a big salad that you made and, and you know you have a healthy healthy lunch instead of again eating you know the donut or the coffee which usually all all the offices you know are full of this kind of food I will say this, that uh, one of the things that's come up for me as I was listening to you talk, Alexandra, is uh, thinking ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, you did mention the options before. There are many options available to us. And thinking ahead to uh, provide choices that we might have. The, the curious thing for me was I, I, I'd never even given a thought to freezing bread or muffins or freezing pretty much anything unless it was typically fresh from the store and was intended to freeze. Yeah, you can freeze a lot of different things. Some things may not freeze very well, mm -hmm. um, but most of the time freezes very, very well. Even nuts, like if you want to keep the nuts, these are in shelves, you know, so these, you don't, they will last like a few years. It's fine. I have walnuts. These are almonds. I don't know if anybody ever saw these are almonds in shelves and what I have hazelnuts here. So uh, these are fine. And if you, 
this is I'm all about nature and getting inspired by animals. So animals would, you know, like squirrels or chipmunks, they will, you know, look in nature for these or acorns. They wouldn't be going and looking for cookies. So get inspired by nature, get inspired by animals and eat like think like a, you know, think like a like an animal. What would they eat? So if you buy the one already, you know, um, without the shelves, actually very good place to keep them is in the fridge or in the freezer to keep them fresher so they don't get stale especially like in the summertime when it's humid it's actually better to keep them in the freezer or in the, on the fridge if it's if it's dry that's that's okay but uh yeah and eat a variety of different things you know try go i'm are you in chicago so i'm sure you have i never been to chicago actually i should visit i know there's a lot of polish people in chicago so uh if you have ethnic stores again they have amazing spices they have amazing fruits and vegetables and many times like dry fruits or pickles that maybe you know we never tried and these are actually very cool or different sauces or something you know to, to try and again you can re, you know invent something great i'm all about having fun creating inventing getting your hands dirty and you know just just you know sometimes you may have make a disaster but you know and the more you experiment like with everything then the better it's gonna be and cooking together with friends family that's i think you know a lot of fun you can do like a rainbow sushi or rainbow pizza or um i have recipes for unicorn sprinkles rainbows and and you can you know decorate and put in with ice cream and so there's so many possibilities alexandra in the uh, video that i saw that you published a couple of weeks ago in part of it there's one where you appear to be holding a class or or maybe you're just with family and friends i don't know could you tell me a little bit more about what's going on there yeah so actually i do teach for those local i do teach uh classes like hands-on classes the next one will be coming soon oh, oh there's my cat i don't know if you can see it there is my cat sushi sushi you can't oh there's his head yeah okay he jumped off okay he's a big boy 18 pounds Maine Coon, big boy but yeah so we do have cooking classes which is a lot of fun and it's really hands-on you know we 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 actually the recipe in this new book is called oops cookies because we had this class in the summertime and i have you know different recipes and i put people in different groups so everybody was doing and somehow they I don't know that the pages of the recipes got stuck or something and two recipes they made into this oops cookies which actually ended up in the book i mean we call them oops cookies but they are so so yummy actually so yeah so uh, hands-on we i teach also children's cooking classes because you no know, a little bit different than adults actually raw food is the best very safe for children because there's no you know no oven involved there's no baking so you can't burn yourself you just have to be careful maybe with knives or you know to the tools but you know you can dehydrate it it's safe you can you know the, the tool behind me anybody you know can use it because the lead temperature is very very low and yeah so and then i also teach uh, cooking classes on facebook and i think i'm going to be doing on twitch which is just live streaming cooking classes and you know i show uh many different ways how to cook and people can ask questions and uh, people can go on my website um, olenkoskitchen.com on YouTube Olenkos Kitchen and watch I have a lot of videos you know making different recipes so you, if you can join me in person you can do it virtually that's what's great about internet nice to have those options uh, yeah. now do you have uh, classes Now you mentioned that you were teaching them already and these are online yes and how do people participate exactly? You said to go to your website and do what? So uh, for the for the one that who I already did, they can just watch it because everything is pre-recorded. But some the new one, I'm gonna have uh, information. People, the best way will be to join my uh, mailing list on my website. So sign up for the newsletter, and then if something you know is going on, if I'm teaching. A webinar if i'm teaching a uh, a class then you're gonna get notified and i also i'm very active on facebook i'm active on instagram so uh you can also follow me on these social media so it's yeah what about cooking do you are you strictly low heat cooking when you do preparation for foods so this the raw food art cookbook is all about raw food yes this, everything is always just no cooking always used in the dehydrator but i will say 70 percent recipes in this book are are you don't need a dehydrator 
because when you when you do need a dehydrator, it's actually called gourmet raw food, and it's you know it's sometimes people put too many nuts and can be a little bit heavy on nuts or seeds, which for somebody who maybe wants to lose weight, that uh, that maybe won't be a good way you know to go. So that's why I created the the cookbook Live Love Light and Fruits, which has a lot of bake and soups and stews. So how I cook, I actually cook with no oil. So I have the grease. I um, I'm certified from plant based uh, nutrition uh, from Dr. Campbell. And it's actually for Cornell University. So he actually specifically talks to people with heart uh, problems and um, diabetes and all sorts of s stuff. So actually, he um, he says that it's better to cook without oil and even without salt. You know, but it's a little maybe not so tasty. But so how I do it, I cook with with no oil, and then you can actually add it like maybe a little bit coconut oil. You know, at the plate or maybe cashew cream or coconut milk just at the end. You know, so you're not heating because what happens to oils? to oils, when you're heating them up to high temperatures, they become carcinogenic and they cause inflammation in the body. And when you're ordering these foods like from Chinese restaurants and all this, you know, different restaurants, fast food places, they do use a lot of canola oil, sunflower oil, sunflower oil, which are GMO, that's number one. And, you know, avoid like fried food. As, I mean, yes, it smells good. It's, it smells good. And it's like, mm, I'm craving for this or barbecue food. But yeah, it's very, very unhealthy. And all about food is that, you know, what we are accustomed, if we've been, if you've been eating for, um, I was going to say thousands of years, but yeah, not thousands, but even, you know, our ancestors, they started with raw food like a long time ago with, you know, cave aid because they didn't even have the fire. But yeah, if you've been eating for many years, you know, junk food, your, your uh, buds, they're not going to jump for joy when you see kale or, you know, or bananas. They'd be like, no, I want whatever, like cookies or, or ice cream. Yes, that's the truth. Actually, the funny thing about my, uh, my book, Live Love, Light and Fruits, it starts with the poem. The poem is really funny. It's all about having fun with, with rainbow diet. So this book, actually, the Live Love, Light and Fruits, it's very funny. I will, sh um, I will read some names for you. For example, some, um, some, some names of the recipes, for example, not, not your mom mozzarella cheese or um, some funny ABC smoothie because there is A, B, and C ingredients, only three ingredients. Kale would not fail. Um, hold on. It's raining ketchup, hallelujah. Like, you know that song, it's raining men, hallelujah. So there is a lot of like funny, this pesto is the best though. Um, that's so cheesy, vegan macadamia cheese. Um, there's a lot of uh, happy, yummy in my tummy, crispy waffles. So I was trying to make it very joyful because, you know, I work with children. I'm a, I'm a teacher and just make it fun. You know, life's supposed to be about fun. And that's what I want to tell people. This is not about depriving you, you know, from eating burgers and whatever you like, whatever you've been eating is just trying to eating a little bit healthier and educating yourself because on the long run, you're going to feel better. You're going to have more energy and, you know, and if, if from time to time, if you want to eat, you know, splurge on something, go ahead. But, you know, if you're eating that every day, you know, diabetes, uh, heart problems, there's obesity. These are issues that, you know, not just, for, you know, for adults, but for obese, cross, you know, borders all around the world, you know, in many different countries, because food is globalized now, all these fast food restaurants, they everywhere, you know, everywhere you go. You, you, you see this, you know, this, this company. So it's very, very important that, you know, we educating, you know, ourselves and especially educating children because, you know, that's the next generation. I have a question here from Bill. How, how do you make vegan cheese? How you make vegan cheese? Oh my God, I love making vegan cheese. So there are many ways. So you can make them raw or you can actually cook them. And I have many recipes. So you can just blend it. Like for example, cashew nuts, uh, or uh, you don't even have to sow cashew in macadamia nuts and just put it in the high speed blender or Vitamix, put some, it was maybe some salt or lemon juice. You can put garlic if you want. You can put some nutritional yeast, which is actually, there's no yeast in it. I don't know why they call it nutritional yeast. Actually, there are vitamin B in it, and it gives you that cheesy flavor. Or you can even put some probiotic, like I will use some vegan probiotic. And then you can just put that in the fridge or freezer, let it set. Or you can put it in the dehydrator for like 
A12, the longer you put it, then you're going to have the, you know, the more crunchy outside and the soft inside, maybe like a brie cheese or macadamia, or not macadamia, but like a brie or, um, you know, any of these like French cheese, you know, so there's many different ways how you can make cheese. Very simple, very easy. You can use nuts, you can use seeds, pumpkin seeds, uh, sunflower seeds, uh, pine nuts, you know, possibilities are endless. You can mix them all together. So much fun. <laughs> Sounds like you make it sound like something I want to do when typically I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> yes. And, and next time, we, next moment, webinar, we're going to be cooking. I, I'll give you some ingredients and maybe you can cook with me. Wow. Okay. Or blend. Maybe blending is easier if you have a blender. Do you have a blender? Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah so we can do that. It's so much fun making and the same nut milk. So it, making cheese. So then you're taking the pulp that's for your cheese and the liquid you can, that's your nut milk. So you can use this in your coffee. You can use this in desserts. You can, again, if you are not going to use it like in three days, then you can freeze it and use it for later. It's, it's, you know, it's so much fun and it tastes good. And actually you're getting good, you know, good nutrients. Sure. Wow. I like that idea. I like the versatility in terms of the uses for it as well. Mm -hmm. And it was so amazing because I feel like I'm vegan and I also address this in the book. What means vegan? What means vegetarian? What is raw? What is pescatarian? You know, because I know people are very confused, you know, what is what? And so I don't eat anything from the animals and what is plant-based diet? That's, so I'm, I'm, prone, I'm, I'm spreading the joy of what I call rainbow diet. So no matter what diets you eat, no matter what you follow, just eat variety of fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, healthy grains, different colors, you know, different color spectrum every day. And then you're going to feel great. Nobody ever over, nobody ever like overdid over eating too many carrots or cucumbers. <laughs> yes. Like it's just, you know, yeah, you, you, you know, you just eat more kale. Think of the, um, think of the, people always ask me, where do I get my proteins? That's probably question number one, you know, when you're eating, you know, plant-based diet, if you don't eat animal, pro, you know, products, meat, fish, dairy, where do I get my proteins? Think of the biggest animals on the planet, gorillas, giraffes, elephants, cows, uh, horses, they, they don't, they eat plants all day long and look at their muscles. Because all these plants, leafy greens, have so much protein. So broccoli, kale, spinach, um, arugula, Brussels sprouts, uh, le you know, lettuce, they will give you actually a lot of proteins. Meat takes over 18 to even 36 hours to digest. You know, it takes a very, very long time to digest. So for people who eat meat, um, you know, many times if they eat too much or they eat, you know, they've been eating a healthy diet for many years, actually they have all this stuff stuck, you know, in their intestines and, you know, it causes a lot of problems. When you're having a smoothie or juice, actually juice, in 15, 20 minutes, it gets, gets absorbed in the, in the bloodstream. And so you're getting instantaneous, you know, pick me up, you know, feeling. So instead of having a coffee, have a green juice, have a or smoothie. Smoothie probably takes like 30 minutes because smoothie has pulp, juice has no pulp. That's the difference between sometimes people get confused. What is a smoothie and what is the juice? So the juice is just no pulp and the, and the smoothie has the pulp. And you say it's beneficial to have the pulp, yes? It, it, it's both, you know. It's sometimes when people say, you know, I have smoothie, but then I feel bloated after because when they're drinking, like, you know, if, um, you actually when you're eating the smoothie, it's like eating a soup or eating an apple. You should actually mix it with your saliva. So it's actually now smoothie bowls are very popular. If you go on Instagram and everybody has this beautiful, colorful, uh, I have some in my book too, uh, raw food art. So you're decorating them with everything and you're actually eating with the spoon. That's actually very beneficial because then you're remembering that, you know, you're mixing with your saliva. And when you're drinking the smoothie, sometimes we're just drinking we're in the rash and then you may get feel bloated later because you didn't mix it. And, you know, you just, you know, you thought it was water or tea or like a juice. So uh, it's all, uh, I think we should all remember about mindful living. And I actually address this in my book to spirituality, mindful living, going outside, you know, taking no matter how busy we are, even five minutes, everybody can have two minutes, 
you know, to just sit down and if you can't go outside, maybe go by the window and, you know, put your hands and like get the sun, you know, even if it's cold outside, you know, the, the, the sunrise from the sun, so you're getting the energy or open the window, you know, if, if you can get some fresh air or go for a walk or even just listen to some relaxing music, you know, just have a mindful piece of mind, piece of life, piece of moment every day and throughout the day, not just once a day. So, you know, so then you're not going to be craving unhealthy foods, but also, you know, it's, I'm all about the holistic, you know, the approach about the whole body, mind, spirit, which Marina talks about, you know, a lot too. I think I see my friend Lydia and she's actually my editor for the book. So Lydia may, hi Lydia. Lydia can tell you a lot how much time it takes to write a book. Yes, Lydia. You guys, can you see me? <laughs> I can see you. You were like eating something. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I thought I... I don't know if they can see you, but I saw you. Hi, Lydia. How do I remove myself from the video? I, I don't want to be seen right now. Is she seen? I don't know. Can you guys see me? I see you. I don't know if they see you. This is my Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> you look fine. I was eating all that time. I'm that's sorry. Okay. I can't see myself. I, um, I, that's okay. So how, how do I? How do I? Not how, show myself. How about Rainbow Diet? Tell us about Rainbow Diet. Lydia, I'm going to mute your video. I'm sorry. There you go. Now we so can. We can not hear you. But I don't you. see myself. That's right, and and neither do we anymore. Okay, okay great, <laughs> great. So yeah, um, so as as you were talking, Alexander, I, I was just having a, a smoothie bowl, and I was thinking to myself, wow, that's that's great because that's exactly you know I I do what Alexandra talks about. Like both of us live a similar lifestyle. She was talking about juice this morning. I made the juice for myself. So when I when I have time, which doesn't happen too much, but usually on the weekends, I try to I try to um, I try to do something raw as 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 much raw as possible. Sorry guys, it's my dog. Um, so I started the day with juice, and now I'm having the smoothie bowl. Later on, maybe I'll have a salad. Um, and you asked me about the rainbow diet, right, I, right, Ola? So, uh, yeah, I do try to eat as many colors um, of fruit, fruit and vegetables as possible. But um, So usually it's a salad. I take a salad to school, spinach salad, with, and I'll throw it a couple of uh, cherry tomatoes, avocado. Um, that's actually my basic salad. And then whatever is at hand, I don't know, like some nuts or... And I make, I usually make my own dressing, which is um, uh, some kind of oil, like the healthy oil, like uh, flaxseed oil with apple cider vinegar and maybe a little bit of um, honey. And I know some people don't do honey, but I, I do. Because you're plant-based, you know, 100% yeah. vegan, which I addressed in the book. And about oils, again, she's just using the oil in the salad and not cooking with the oil. So it's okay to have a little bit of oils, but you know, again, in a cold form, not right. Not, you know, cooking with it. And especially you don't want you do not want to be cooking with flaxseed oil because flaxseed is a seed which is very, very good. You can actually use it as an egg substitute when you blend the seeds. It's a you can use two kinds, brown or golden raw flaxseed, you blend it in and you can also use chia seeds too. And then you add water and that makes great substitution for eggs. So in baking, you know, any, anywhere for pancakes, anywhere you would use egg, you, you can use this flax, egg. it's called flax egg. And it's really, really good and it helps you. It's actually very, very good for balancing hormones and it's actually very, very, very good for, because it has a lot of fiber, you know, making your intestines so, you know, so you go to the bathroom very well, you know. So that's what is great about this diet, eating the rainbow, that it has a lot of fiber. So you're going to feel good, you know, you're going to have, have nice energy, you're going to have beautiful hair, skin. Right, Lydia? I think so, yeah. So I thought you look fine, but she didn't want to be on the video, but yes. Uh, <laughs> not at the moment. Now, next, to next time, um, yes, going back to the oil. So uh, it's the flaxseed oil or sometimes I use the hemp seed oil for the salad you know right but not for the cooking yeah mm -hmm. sometimes when i cook um just like you i use the um coconut oil but just you know i add it at the end you know at the end or to the pot or on my plate so mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's what i told them in the beginning yeah. 
What's yeah, your favorite recipe from don't. the book? What's your favorite recipe? I mean, she, she was an editor in my book, so she read the entire book. She was my tester. She lived here for many weekends, yes? And I so did. she tried a lot of recipes. And what's your favorite recipe? I did. I typed the whole book. Um, yeah. She typed the whole book. I mean, <laughs> my favorite recipe? Oh my gosh, the, I, I cannot answer that question. I can't. Uh, Over 150 recipes. There's a yeah. lot of good recipes. But like one, just give them a. Just one? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Um, you submitted like two or three recipes. I, I submitted two. You know what? I like, let's see. I like the something with, oh, I know. I think I like the salad with um, the, f uh, what is it? The bean salad, maybe? The the ca the cowgirl. Oh, cowgirl, okay. Cowgirl salad. With beans. South mm -hmm. something cowgirl salad mm -hmm. or the lentil salad. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It's so difficult to choose, you know. Yeah, there's so many good recipes. Because there's a vari variety of everything. You, you, we have we, stuff, recipes. We even have recipes in this book. Listen to this, guys, because I'm all about yoga and meditation and mindful living and drinking water. I even have a chapter for you guys: <laughs> alcoholic drinks, mm -hmm. healthy version. How about that? We even have a chapter with healthy versions of coffee and coffee substitutes that you can do so there is everything there's tea there's coffee there's there's something for everybody there's stuff for kids you know colorful you know so i i really it took me two years i answer a lot of questions that my clients and as i said my students even my students contribute recipes to this book which is so much fun so it's really multi-level multi-cultural and many different ages my nephew from poland and actually sub submitted he's five years old you know, a recipe. So it's, it's so much fun. So this book is, I, I hope you're going to enjoy it. So I can't wait for you to, you know, to have it. And it's going to be beautiful to see because the pictures are so colorful and the way you're designing it, it's just gorgeous. Just I mean, I have, I have my designer also. So it's an effort, you know, of many, many different people, you know, when you're creating something, I'm sure Joe, you know, because you a filmmaker, you know, it's, it's a big production. Yes. Sometimes, uh, you know, doing all these different things. So yeah, like even today doing the webinar, Joe is my producer. I, you know, I, my husband was helping me with all this technical stuff. So there's always, you know, so there's always a, a group of people behind and that's why I can, um, I can't even say it more, you know, with everything you do, like I, I do this, I do this cooking, healthy cooking for you because I love you. I don't do this, you know, uh, I'm, my, my degrees, my master's degrees are in teaching, my degrees, my undergraduate are in art, you know, I'm an artist, but I, then I became health coach for you because for all these years, uh, people have been asking me, you know, about healthy loving. I've been living this lifestyle for like more than 30 years and, you know, that's, that's why I, I'm creating, you know, these things for you guys because i love sharing so create your community when whatever you live i'm sure go on the, you know they have those meetups groups you can find i was talking to the client the other day uh he lives in georgia and he was telling me like you know there's not that many healthy foods and there's a lot of fast foods i said find these meetups find the people you know create a group or go on instagram you know go on facebook and make the group so you can meet so you can make make your tribe so you can share it, you know, share it with your family, what I do. And I know you do, Lydia, too. Every time I go for a party or I bring a big dish, you know, with salads or make cookies or raw chocolates, everybody loved them. I went to the dentist. I brought some raw chocolates. Now, every time I go to the dentist, they all want me to bring raw chocolates. So it's just like wherever I go, everybody thinks food, you know. I mean, yeah. So share, share the food. My grandmother in Poland always told me to to share, you know, no matter how little you have. She was a farmer. She lived off the land. She said, you know, just always share from the heart, you know. And when and I know Marina talks <clears throat> about this too, you know, we go into the fifth dimensional. No matter how little you have, you can always share. And if you don't have food, you can share your ideas, you can create something, you know. When we're helping each other, we're creating a better world, we we uplifting each other, we eating yummy food, you know, this kind of diet, a rainbow diet is good for the environment, is good for the animals. You you know the even if you're not going vegan, even if you if you eating less animal products. You know, you helping the animals. So, it, you know, there is win-win for everything. With everything you buy, even clothes, you know, jewelry, um, gifts, you know, always think, first of all, do I need it? And second, you know, where is this made? 
who made this? You know, is it sustainable? Is it good for the environment? Do people get, uh, you know, uh, exploited? Do animals get exploited? Do earth get exploited? You know, so we, I think it's, climate is changing. There are so many things going on around the world. There's so much chaos, fear, uh, pain. You know, we, we really need to, you know, everybody, you know, this is our individual, uh, individual, um, right you know to you know you know to live our life from the heart and really you know helping ourselves helping others and helping the environment and planet earth absolutely and you know what like when i brought the chocolates to my to work now my supervisor keep keeps asking me uh when i'll bring more he wants me to make more he I always know. asks about the chocolates and I'd love to make them. It's just that I don't have time. But maybe this weekend I'll do something. I think when we have extra time, we make we start our own company, raw chocolate company, <laughs> and then we can sell it. You know, people have been asking yeah. me like, can you, you know, can you, can you start selling them? Because I don't have time to make it. Yeah, I have a lot of videos. If you go to my website, I have a lot of recipes for raw chocolates, for raw chocolate ice cream, dipping raw chocolate with fruits truffles and and i'm talking about chocolate raw cacao this is not chocolate you know now halloween is coming this is not chocolate that you buy in the store which is processed i'm talking about amazing superfood been used you know raw cacao been used for thousands of years in incas and mayas cultures you know it, it's it's a superfood it gives you so many you know nutrients potassium magnesium iron it gives you sustainable energy is really really good for those who are caffeine um, sensitive you can use carob if you cannot use any caffeine you can make raw chocolate with carob powder so there's always you know options but this is something very good and you can use good sugars like you know dates you know not processed sugar you can use maple syrup or, or whatever you like but you know not something that you buy it in the store these candies and put it in this colorful sprinkles which are all food coloring and in my book you have all you know palettes and i'm showing you how to make a uh, rainbow palette natural colors from plants and you know and it's not that hard and you can have so much fun so yeah it's all about you know making creating and having fun and getting your hands dirty in the kitchen yeah those are amazing and now it's easier and easier to find them at the stores because in the past you would have to buy them on the internet but now you can see more and more of them in the store so yeah that's that's another thing that's that's a, my favorite thing from the book the the um, magical uh, unicorn sprinkles What's the best thing is now in the stores, because I used to buy a lot of these things on the on internet, but now they actually, many of these ingredients are accessible in different stores, even regular supermarkets. So again, ask, you know, go ask the manager of the store and ask, can you start bringing more organic? Can you start bringing this ingredients instead of me driving to Whole Foods or whatever, ordering online? So, you know, and trust me, they want your money. So they will, you know, the more people ask for it, they will order it. Because in my supermarket stop and shop, we used to have zero organic staff. And now we have entire huge section, huge with organic produce, with many different pastas, uh, gluten-free stuff, so much stuff, freezer section, so many different exotic fruits and vegetables. Because, you know, people have been asking, not just me, but, you know, people. So again, if you ask for it, you deliver. Remember, you are, you are a, a customer. I used to work in Lauren Taylor's. I used to be a makeup artist and customers always write. So you're the customer with every dollar you spend, you, you know, you making a huge difference. So, so, you know, so you have the right ask Joe, do you have anything to add or any questions? I, I did have one question, but we're at a time where we're ready to close. Yes, I know. What I just like to say uh, before we do close is that what I heard you do a couple of times during your, the last 10 minutes or so was to open the conversation way up, way beyond just raw foods to sustainability, to, uh, I'm, I lost those different ideas, but you really expanded the conversation. And I'm curious to know if during these various webinars, you're going to be touching on those various things. Yes. And then to just uh, make, uh, make, you know, straight it out. I am not 100% raw. I eat high, what I call it, high raw diet, which I eat probably 70, 80% raw, sometimes 100%, but I do eat cooked food sometimes, especially now in the winter time, you know, when it's getting cold. 
And so this is all, that's why I wrote the second book because it has a lot of cooked foods. And yes, in this coming webinars, we're going to be addressing all these different uh, ways how to live you know, sust sustainable, how to, how different resources. I'm going to be interviewing different people, experts in different various uh, uh, genres of life, talking about this. We're going to be cooking together. So, you know, make sure that, again, you sign up for the newsletter, olenkoskitchen.com on my website. So you'll be, you know, you'll be notified on when the webinars are happening and everything, and I'm going to be posting. But, yes, yeah, so we're going to have a lot of fun together. Alexandra, thank you so much. I'm opening up the microphones for everybody to say goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Babes. Bye. <laughs> and then thank you so much, Joe. And if you uh, want to learn more about Joe's work, and if you want to hire Joe to be the producer on your webinar, so if you have great ideas for cooking, for dancing, for sustainable living, jewelry, whatever, you know, you can reach to Joe because he's amazing and he'd be help, happy to, you know, to help you, you know, to do, you know, to help do the webinars with you. So thank um, you, Joe. Thank you. Okay, bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Thanks so much for joining.